Caitlin here. Hello, hello, hello. So this project that I have with me that's cosplay or just using my skills of cosplaying is to look like a snow bunny with my skiing jumpsuit. So one of the boxes I started opening and then I was like, oh wait, I actually have to wait so that it's an official unboxing. And I also have some fabric from Joann's. So the first one, which I was really excited, actually has this really cute hat. Everything will be linked. Does anybody else carefully open these to make sure in case there's something wrong, you could just be like, oh, I didn't use it. I don't know. I always make sure I open it right. So if I ever had to return it, I know I could. All right. Um, these are pretty long, like, because I want it that as I ski, they're just like, as I go skiing, so I thought that'd be cute. Uh, so on the inside, it has some little stragglers that I probably will take my crocheting hook and put back in, but it does have a very definite seam. So to me, I would put the seam in the back of my head. And that's actually where the tag is and it's 100% acrylic made in China, so. <laughs> The ears look like I could use my steamer because you could see they're still folded, but very, very cute. And a very important thing I want to like make sure it actually is covering my ears, which is very important to me. I actually got frostbite in this ear and I was like very upset because it was like all pink and peeling. Oh my gosh, you got to be careful. So I go skiing, they're just gonna... So how I'm gonna keep this hat on because it doesn't have ear flaps or anything that ties it is the goggles. Ooh, these have a little bit of weight to them. All right. This reminds me of like when you get things from like Wish or Sheen, they come in like those random tiny small packages and it says made in China, but it's an Amazon thing. Uh, cool black and yellow. Um, the material is like pretty nice. I assume this is just protective stuff, like I don't need it in the future, I just put them in the bag. So a long time ago, I used to have, everybody had like silver, dark blue, like all these crazy, all these like simple colors. And I remember like, I was like one of the first people we're talking like over 10 years ago. Remember I'm older that I remember I got a purple pair and it was called Psycho. <laughs> so when I was looking at this stuff, I was like, I gotta get purple again. Cause I have to be a psycho. Um, I'm not sure how to do this. Do I like put my ears through first? Like, oh. <laughs> Ew. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. Yeah. So I do think this elastic band will definitely keep my hat on as I'm skiing. And I do understand that some people might be like, oh, but you're supposed to wear a helmet for legal reasons. Yes, I'm going to tell you, you are supposed to wear a helmet. However, I am a rebel and it is not enforced by law or anything that you have to wear a helmet while skiing. So I'm not going to. Reason being is I do not go on black diamonds, any hard things. I might just only be on the bunny slopes. And then usually I find that one that like you go up and you go down a little bit and it goes across the whole mountain. It's just easy peasy fun stuff. I don't do any hard stuff. And I actually have in the past accidentally went down a hard one and I took off my skis and I walked right back up and went down the other path. So I do not wear a helmet because I do not use, I do not do hard, you know, paths down the hill, down the mountain. And also 
I already know that I'm not saying you have to do this, that like, I'll just crash before I ever hit a tree. Like I just, I would literally on purpose. I rather twist my ankle and hit a tree. If I knew I was going to hit a tree, I would cross my skis and I rather twist my ankle. <laughs> I'm not saying you should do that, but uh, yeah, you're supposed to wear a helmet, but if you want to be like me, just be a chicken and just go on, you know, the easy slopes, I guess, and like think you're a rebel because you're not wearing a helmet. I don't know. Ooh. All right. Pretty good. It's weird because the light, the ring light, it looks like light pinky purple, and then my living room light looks yellow oh that one looks yellow too huh interesting so yeah definitely like these and yeah i'm pretty sure you know <laughs> i look like i'm doing bad stuff all right no the hat's not gonna come off all right In you go. All right, what else do we got? I got gloves since the theme is white here. King, King's bum, King's bomb, I don't know. All I cared was that they were white. So, and they have like little grippies so that you don't lose your ski poles. So the inside is like all the way down this material and then it does have a cuff. I really like it that the cuff is black because let's be realistic, things get dirty. Da, 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 da. Okay, 3M Insulate. Jeez, so official. All right, so those are pretty good. Then the one that I'm excited for the most. This one I did not open yet. That one I opened out of excitement and I was like, oh no, I'm supposed to fill in. So if you go online, you might see one of these jumpsuits cheaper and it's still silver and it comes in multiple colors of like this silvery material. So the thing is, is that if you look at the reviews, people say things like, hey, the gold material, like in like the butt region or the crotch, because you know, you're constantly skiing or under your arms here where there's a lot of friction, a lot of rubbing that um, the gold wore off and it was just silver underneath. Um, but other than that, I mean, that other one, yeah, it's cheaper, it looks nice, but a lot of people do complain it wasn't that great. Only complaints about this one is that people said the torso is too long. So I definitely paid attention to the heights. Wish me luck. All right, this is a lanyard, a lanyard. Hold on, I got something better. So when you go up and down a mountain, <laughs> you have to hold your pass somewhere. And also, um, sometimes you might wanna have your money on you in an easy place. You don't want it to fall out of a pocket while you're skiing, cause God forbid. So there's, at Walmart, I just bought this today. It's a little wallet, okay? So you put basics, just the minimum. And then on the front, you could maybe put like, hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. If you find me unconscious, these are my friend's names and their phone numbers. Please contact, contact them. Um, that way, you know, people, if they ever find you, they don't even have to like go in here and see your ID and money. They just automatically can know who you are, what's going on, what's your blood type, do you have allergies? But you never know. So, if you forgot to buy that, I don't know why Tipsy Elves didn't advertise this. They got you covered. So there's is, oh, I think I got a sticker. Tipsy Elves sticker, all right. 
it's like metallic just like the suits I don't know if all the other ones are gonna be just like the suit so this one you clip okay and it's like it reminds me of like the things you get photos in when you go to conventions so it's just very very basic so if you forgot they have you covered so hmm all right this hood is very thin however i'm assuming that because this is very silvery that it probably like holds itself a little bit um the fur is okay uh it's not the color i want um it has enough of like i could cut it out maybe give it to my friend who makes hats um so she can make pom-poms or something but yeah i'm probably gonna take this off i don't see a zipper to take it off it looks like you're just kind of stuck with it so yeah that's gonna end up coming off and Hmm. Oh, it snaps. Oh god, I feel like a spaceman. I am a little cold. Don't mind me sniffling. Oh, 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 it's a little... Oh, it does it more. I was like, my butt is not going through that. Oh, okay. I hope I look like one of those fitted, really cute villains in movies. I don't care what you're saying. I'm taking your family's mountain and we're building a giant resort. I know, I just want to reek sexy Disney villain. I'm sorry, I give up. I'm just gonna sniffle. I was trying not to, but this is what you get. So, oh, I could go a little bit more. My cat is going in the other box. She can't help herself. Go in the box. Yes, we'll go in the box. Already, this is very warm. It's not just the fact I have a light on. Uh, a lot of space so I don't know about that. The hood itself. Oh big hood. I like big hoods. And then <laughs> I feel like Kenny. Um except this is silver. So I like a silver bunny. Look like a sexy silver bunny. Um yeah I think this is really cute. I'm probably, there's a mirror behind the camera. So I'm probably gonna wear this to Ice Castles too. So instead of this black fur, it's gonna be this white fur. Oh, I forgot to do the one test that's important. <laughs> okay, so, and they said something about it being too long. Yeah, so I did make sure I was within my height. So I think after that, if you're getting a different size and um, it's because of your other measurements, but you're going into a height category, it's not your height, then expect the crotch to be bigger or lower down. But you have to remember that you are gonna be skiing and you're gonna be in this position. So keep that in mind. Uh, and also these, I'm not a big fan of Velcro because I feel like it always destroys clothes. And the wrists, I don't mind, it just, irks me when it's here because then it destroys your actual clothes so that's not that bad i'll probably end up doing two little buns or braids or something to get my hair out of the way but i think it's cute Move my hair out of the way much better so i think it's cute i like it so there is pockets all right these go about this deep that's pretty good there is an ID type of situation here. Like I said, I'd probably just wear a lanyard so that like if someone finds me, it's like on me. Uh, they said something about leg zippers. Oh. So I'm wearing black leggings as you saw before. This is not black fabric. So I actually could breathe if I get too hot. This one works. Yep. 
The other ones are always in the pits. Ah! <laughs> you can see my pit pit. Oh, all right, this one mark. Pit. So if you forget deodorant, just unzip, spray away, and zip back up again. Okay. Can you imagine? There's gotta be someone else who's done that. Um, oh, oh, two pockets. And these are pretty big. Like I can go all the way up here and down here. So that's a pretty big pocket. And out of curiosity, yeah, you can pull it out if you lost something in there. So two pockets, two pockets, two pockets. All right, I like the symmetry. You know, I like symmetry. I don't like, you know, because if I'm right-handed, I probably want to do this. If I'm left-handed, I'm probably, you know what I mean? Like, you're going to have a preference. So I like that. I'm really curious. No. No, it's, it's not. Try to do it somewhere where I don't care. No, it's not wearing. So I put that question on the Amazon and no one answered it. Hello, who are you? <laughs> wow. Oh, it's only that one. Ah, uh, no. So that doesn't, the only caters to right-handed people. It's not going to cater to left-handed people. So it's the only pocket that's on one side and nowhere else. So I'm getting pretty hot in here. Um, so I have... Uh, oh, the other thing, and I don't know if it really bothers me that much anymore, is that there's black here. The reason this is here is because your boots are probably going to scuff it. So yeah, um, I have white fabric to go over there. Joanne's scrap, because I just want it to match all, you know. White, 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 so I'll probably put that there. I might not, I don't know. But I have these, and what it is is that, this is really expensive, like Joann's, what are you doing to me? This is $50 a yard. I did not buy a yard, but that's how much this faux fur is, okay? And then if you go to Lorraine's in Rhode Island, um, they only had a brown one like this. Obviously, I didn't need brown. It was $14 or 14, basically 15. It was $14.99. Like 50 versus 15. Even with a 30% discount, that doesn't compare. But um, I found other fabric there for future project that I just don't know how much I need. But I will end up going to Lorraine's again. But this is pretty much how much I got. Believe it or not, when I was there, the lady's like, oh, the way we cut fur is we snip a little bit and then we pull it apart. And then she's kind of tired. She's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Can you help me? And then like the employee didn't hear her. So then I had to play tug of war to help finish ripping it. She's like this old lady. She's like holding the other end, like the big wrapped end. And it like cat, like when it finally lets go, it like catapults and like the thing like rams into her. <laughs> she didn't fall, but I was a little worried. So yeah, probably in fast animation, you're going to see me changing the hood on this. But I have another thing I want to add fur to. So these Goku boots are going to have the ribbon and the strings pulled off and then... I am going to attach the fur to them. I am not, I'm just trying to reuse these because I already found better boots. I found actual, oh, I had them the wrong way. I found actual like blue Uggs and that way they don't have this painted look. I don't know, I just don't like how, see how it has creases? I don't like that. So I have actual blue Uggs and they were very hard to find. Um, and I'm gonna attach the ribbon and this to them. And then that way, uh, in March, when I go to a convention, which is pretty cold, um, or at least here in New England it is, at least I'll stay warm. I'm actually really warm right now. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna do that in fast animation, fast animation and um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy. All the links of these will be below in the YouTube and Facebook video. Uh, pretty much all of them are Caitlin dot 
Kensington. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy and hope this inspires you to maybe buy some really cute outfits so you can look like a villain. I don't know, I just feel like it's like Disney villain when you have like one of these jumpsuits that's like really extra fancy looking. Like you look like you're gonna like, my family is gonna take your mountain. <laughs> I, don't know, I just think they're really cute um and some of the ones by tipsy elves actually just like greek 80s which is like really awesome but i hope you enjoyed the video and have a really great day yay Alright you guys, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed all the fast animation. I really don't like somebody watching like all the little errors I do, so I just rather show the chunk of what I do in fast animation because I'm not really the best at sewing right now. But this is what I was able to accomplish and I'm just very happy I have a tail. Um, I have this off. This is the only thing my friends know I'm getting. They have no clue I'm dressed up like this for ice castles. Uh, and I also have my furry boots. Uh, so these are just snugly put on because I assume the bottom will get dirty eventually. So they'll just basically pop off. This is the part where it's really snug, like really, really tight snug. So that it's not going to really move anywhere. And uh, that way I could take them off and just like maybe like, you know, spot clean them. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy and I hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe uh it means a lot to me and i hope everybody has fun this winter